In some ways, Paul Keating is right. We don't need to worry about being invaded by a totalitarian government because our own governments are becoming that already. These days, Australian politicians give the impression that they find the democratic process a bit tiresome. A series of staged photo opportunities and a bunch of focus group tested slogans. What they don't do is, real is release their policies for the voters to consider before entering the booth. They wait until they've won office, then they let us know what they're going to do. Within four months of winning office, for example, Anthony Albanese announced new enterprise bargaining laws, and in Victoria, Premier Dan Andrews announced harsh new restrictions on car drivers. In both of these cases, these policies would have significantly affected the election result if the voters knew about them. What will the winner of the New South Wales election pull out of the hat in the months after the polls close in that state on March 25? Well, my money is on the policy that is sweeping the world, but nobody seems to have voted for. 20 minute cities. Leftist politicians, which these days is almost all of them, love this kind of idea, partly because they can package it up in a way that makes a debate about them seem perfectly redundant. Here's how it's being sold in Victoria. To improve livability, the Victorian government is working to create a city of 20 minute neighbourhoods. It's all about creating walkable neighbourhoods where people can live locally. Places where communities can access most of their daily needs within a 20 minute return walk from home. These places should have diverse housing options and access to safe cycling routes and local public transport, local health facilities, parks, shops and other local infrastructure. We are already working with local government, communities and industry to deliver projects and are committed to building a livable city of 20 minute neighbourhoods. Well, that video is three years old. Now that the concept has been legislated, says Ratepayers Victoria President Dean Hurlston, it is the preamble to state planning laws. He says, quote, every planning decision that is made in every local council in Victoria is seen in the lens of the 20 minute city because the planning legislation is designed around it. But governments aren't very good at this stuff. Here's a video about Elizabeth, a new suburb north of Adelaide from the 1950s, advertising the same combination of work and convenience. But whatever the job, light or heavy, and no matter how pleasant the working conditions, after a good day's work, a pint at the local agrees with any man. Now you're really talking. Oh, Bob will be all right. What with a handy job and the local just around the corner, but what about me? What are the shops like? You're taken good care of too, Mrs. Fisher. Whatever suburb of Elizabeth you live in, there's a shopping centre in your neighbourhood handy to get at and supplying all the family needs. And there's the main city centre. Big shops stocked with the world's finest merchandise. Well, you can tell by the cheery tone of that video that nobody who moved to Elizabeth back then knew that there would soon be a massive departure of manufacturing from the suburb, draining the life, work and prosperity from the neighbourhood. In 2020, the Adelaide advertiser called Elizabeth Adelaide's most dangerous suburb. <laughs> 